I've changed our tactics and things are finally going our way. What is going on guys? I'm Alvin here and this is episode 17 of AC Regiana's Reveal. Like I mentioned earlier, I have changed our tactic. So we are playing with a 4-4-2 Diamond Narrow with a tactic of Gurgen Press. As the saying goes in Football Manager, when in doubt, Gurgen Press. <laughs> All right. I know that sounds easy, but this tactic has actually solved a lot of our problems. Alright, so in possession, we will be playing out of defense, you know, we will be playing with slighter, shorter passing. As you guys know, we don't pass well, right? So I don't want to play with long, I don't want to play too direct and lose possession, you know, in the process. And, you know, in transition, we will be counter-pressing, you know, when we lose the possession as how Gurgen Press plays with. And goalkeeper, when he is in possession, we will be distributing to the fullbacks and the centre-back. And out of possession, as you guys know, we will be playing with high press, but the defensive line, I've actually changed it to standard because as you guys know, our defense, our central defender, especially our center backs, they are not really that great. But, you know, after I changed the defensive line to standard and I stopped stepping up more, right, as what a default Gurgen Press will do. If you have a look at the average rating, right, our defender, our center back have finally has a average rating of 7 and above. Look at Gabriel Corbo. He is having an average rating, an average rating of 7.26 in the last five games. So, this is actually really, really great. You know, and things are really looking well in the pitch as well. Alright, so if you have a look at this, you know, um, after last episode, you know, when we lost to Verona 3-0, right? I was actually still playing with our, our previous formation, you know, of 3-4-1-2. Alright, and things did not turned out well. You know, we lost to Atlanta 1-0 and when we faced Lazio, we lost 2-0 to them. And there was a little bit of a glimmer of hope there when we drew against Asuolo. We grew, uh, what we drew 2-2 to them and Gassan Ahame actually equalized in the last minute, in the 93rd minute, you know, to, to snatch a point for us there. So, which was really, really great. But when we faced Juventus, we lost 1-0 to them again. Alright, and when we face Sasena, you know, in the Italian Cup, obviously Sasena, they are a Serie B club. And we won 3-1 to them, which was great. As you guys know, our team, we are a Serie B quality team, obviously. Alright, and things change, you know, when we lost 3-0 to AC Milan. I really thought to myself, if we keep on playing this formation, right, we will surely be relegated. So I thought to myself, what is the go-to formation? What is the go-to tactic? for anyone who wants to win match. As you guys know, Gurgen Press is quite overpowered, overpowered, you know, in uh, in Football Manager. And this actually proved really, really right, you know, in, in, this, in this series, guys. Because as soon as I change it to 4-4-2 Diamond, you know, as you guys know, I could not play with wingers because we don't have wingers in the, you know, in our team. So I had to go with a 4-4-2, you know, Diamond. And it actually works really well. When we started this formation, right, we won... 1-0 to Como. And we have actually managed to keep a clean sheet. For God's sake. I, I can't even remember when was the last we had a clean sheet. The last we had a clean sheet was back in last episode when we faced Pezia. You know, when we won 1-0 to them. Yeah, so we actually managed to keep a clean sheet. And when we faced Ascoli, Ascoli, they are sitting at the you know bottom of the table. I understand. But we still managed to beat them, you know, 2-0. Alright, uh, we were knocked out by Lazio in the Italian Cup. So, which I'm not really looking forward for. I know we are not a team that are, you know, are capable of winning this Italian Cup. So, you know, even getting into the third round, right, is, is quite an achievement for us, to be honest. And, you know, we managed to win against Sampdoria as well. And the proof that Gurgen Press really works was this game against Napoli. You know, we managed to keep them on bay. You know, they, you know, this, this was seriously a really good, you know, example of Gurgen Press working. You know, if you have a look at this, you know, even though we were playing against Napoli, right, we had a very, very close game to them. All right. And Gassan scored a last minute equalizer. If you have a look at this, oh, this, we, we really have to look at this goal, you know, because it was a really, really amazing example of Gurgen Press. You know, we, we, uh, we, we, you know, we played high press, you know, and look at this, you know, Esposito was amazing there. He actually tried. And Ahadme had a, 
empty goal for him to score. Look at this. When we when we play Gagan Press, right, we are always going to overload, you know, the you know the opposition's uh, you know half. And we did just that, and we managed to score one goal against Napoli, and we managed to get one point against Napoli. So which is a great return, you know, for a newly promoted team as us. <laughs> Right. And, you know, when we face Brianza, Brianza, you know, they are also a relegation battle team, you know, and we managed to beat them 3-0. But this game against Bologna, Bologna, they are actually a mid-table team, you know, in Serie A this season. So it actually ended up with a 2-2 scoreline. And in the 94 minute, we actually, can we see the, oh yeah, we can actually see the replay. In the 94th minute, in the last minute of the game, we actually had a goal ruler and look at that offside, you know, line, you know, oh my God, that was actually a very, very close call that it, it, it could actually go either way, to be honest. You know, look at this. Oh, Tandalone was actually very, very close to being onside there. Just, I think, uh, I, I, I think that could have been a less than a second of difference, to be honest. But yeah, the goal was ruled out and we only managed to get one point against Bologna. But I would say, you know, Starting, starting in this, um, starting the game, right? I think, um, looking at Bologna, Bologna, they are actually sitting in the ten position. If you would have told me that I would have been able to get, you know, one point against them, I think I would have laughed at your face, to be honest. <laughs> right? Okay, so with all of this game that is, you know, that is going well for us, we are currently sitting in the fourteen position with twenty six points after playing twenty four games. There's another fourteen more games left for Serie A. And looking at the way we are playing, right, I really hope if we can keep up this good performance, good, this good form, right, I think we will be able to be safe and stay up in Serie R this season. Alright, so we are 7 points ahead of Brianza who are currently occupying the 18th position, the final relegation position in Serie A. So, you know, 7 points is actually quite big, you know, if you look at things. But when you, when you look at our, you know, um, next games that we are going to be playing you know we are going to be facing empoli today that are also you know a relegation battle team but after that immediately after that we will have to face roma torino inter milan fiorentina saler nintana all of these teams you know we have not managed to beat this season so you know yeah i know seven points looks quite 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 big seven points different looks quite big but looking at the teams that we will have to face immediately after today's episode it, it looks like a really really big order guys it looks like a really really tall order you know even by the end of the season we will have to face the likes of you know lazio atalanta sassuolo juventus all four games in a row all are going to be very very tough game and in the end of the season we will have to face okay como is going to be i think it might be easier to beat them but ac milan as well so things could really change very very fast for us and hopefully hopefully in today's episode we will be able to beat empoli you know just uh how would i say just expand the lead you know just uh just make the point difference to be a little bit bigger a bit a little bit larger than seven points right now and if we can get uh, some sort of result against roma that is going to be great as well so guys before we get into the match i want to talk about the transfers that we have done in the month of january all right, so we have actually got three new loan deals done, okay? And the first one is going to be Lamine Kamara. So Lamine Kamara, I actually um, signed him on a loan because uh, because of his uh, because of his attributes. You know, he enjoys big matches. He's consistent. I think keeping him up on the bench, you know, having him on the bench, right? I think that could actually be a very very uh, what good addition to our midfield. You know, with uh, Deriwa getting injured, and there was quite a lot of injuries in the month of. You know, December and January. This was one of the reasons why I opted for a loan deal. And we are only paying 10% of his, uh, you know, salary. So I think it's quite good. And if if he can play well, right, we will actually have the the you know the option to sign him on a free transfer because his contract with FC Mets is going to be ending at the end of this season. So hopefully, if he can put up a good performance with us, you know, play well coming off the bench for us, I think I will surely sign him on a free and. Jorgensen, we have actually signed him on a loan deal from Napoli and we don't have to play, pay any of his salary this season, which is great. But we do have an optional future fee for him, you know, of 2.3 million. I'm not sure whether, even if we stay up, I'm not sure whether we are going to have 
that much of transfer budget for us to you know trigger his optional feature fee he's a really really good box to box midfielder guys i am playing him as a box to box midfielder he have actually started he actually started that game against bologna you know uh he made a debut there i know 6.6 average rating is not really that great but that was his first game you know he uh, he he's basically not used to our team yet right so he's only 23 years old you know he's already a very very good serie a player with the potential to be a leading serie a player and he is currently our key player you know so if seriously if our board give us a good transfer budget this season i will surely sign him you know on a, on a on a measly transfer you know transfer value of 2.3 million right you know he's very very consistent he love big matches and his attribute looks really good you know so i'm really hoping that he will be a good addition to our midfield and he will help us to stay up in cdr this season and another one of our player that this was actually done by my director of football i just let it happen but if you look at this i can't even register him for the you know for cdr this season so this boy is not going to be able to play for us at all he has an optional feature fee of 150k you know set but i'm not sure whether i will be even trigger because i don't really play with poacher to be honest you know even playing him as a pressing forward on attack right his aggression is not that great but other than that he's actually a very very average player but yeah we are not going to have a chance to even give him a chance and see how is he going to perform on the field for us so yeah these are the only three transfers that were done in the month of january and i i'm really looking forward for jorgensen to you know to basically improve our midfield to strengthen our midfield and create some chances for us as well playing as a box to box midfielder even cover our defensive midfielder and our center backs you know and yeah hopefully we can keep up a clean sheet against empoli today All right guys so this is the team that i'm going to be fielding against empoli today is going to be cardinali in goal our four defenders will be tripaldelli corbo ricchio and pie rosi our midfield diamond will be delgado is our defensive midfielder brescia anini and jorgensen in the middle and corti novis as our attacking midfielder and our two strikers will be gasan ahedme and Espo Sito. Let's just submit the team and get into the match. All right, guys. So you guys know that this is a must-win game here today, and I really hope that our team will be able to perform really well away from home and get the three points that we really need. As you guys know, we will have to face, you know, Roma, the likes of Inter Milan, and all in our next few games. And today will be a very, very crucial game for us to extend our lead, extend our point difference. to the team that are in the relegation zone so let's have a look let's see if our team can win today's game all right it's going to be a throw in here triple delhi with a throw in to ahadme ahadme passing it to you know i'm not sure who who was that just now and now jorgensen pierozi pierozi have a clear chance there and he have managed to score his first goal for us first goal for ac regiana and give us a lead early on in this game 8 minutes in and we are leading with one goal tripal delhi that was a good pass to jorgensen jorgensen actually saw pierre rosi was totally unmarked there and good try by pierre rosi you know uh, the keeper must be feeling so hard done by he actually managed to save but i'm not sure how he deflected and went into the net all right so we are going to have a kick off highlight here and i really hope that they are not going to equalize immediately against us okay pierozi intercepted their pass passing it to rikio rikio to delgado delgado to ahadme gasan brashianini esposito one on one with the keeper can he score oh my god he just could not keep the shot down that is a goal kick for empoli all right so now a throw in for empoli there has been a lot of highlights since the start of the game here and we have won back the possession with with a very very good interception by Brescia Anini if i'm not mistaken triple delhi now with a lot of space or oh, he lost the possession to Baldanzi Baldanzi now to Sita Dini Romeo Romeo to Kakashi he, is it Kakashi or Kakaki now Dembele Dembele for Empoli oh my god he could not keep the shot on target fortunately for us we are still leading in this game and there's a immediate highlight after that highlight okay gasan won back the possession and he lost it by Brescia Anini won it back in a very good position passing it to Cortinovis Jorgensen to Gasan Gasan to Brescia Anini and he have scored our second goal and is this seriously Brescia what Brescia Anini's first goal 
of the season. Oh my god, last season he have actually managed to score a lot of goals, you know, for us. All right, but that was a really, really good passing, you know, by Jorgensen. He found Gassan. Gassan hold up the ball. He found Brescianini's run, and that was a good finish by Brescianini to give us a two-goal lead in the first half here. And now we have a free kick here. Corbo to Brescianini. I'm not gonna get any type of rest. I think in this game, you know, because the highlight has been coming thick and fast, and I have to keep on talking. <laughs> okay, the keeper playing it long straight to Rikyo. Rikyo headed it towards Delgado. Delgado back to Tripal Delhi. Now Corbo to Delgado. Delgado passing it all the way back to Cardinali. Cardinali playing it long, trying to look for Gassan there. Gassan could not win the header and they won back the possession. And Poli now having the possession to Kakake. Kakashi, is it? Is it Kakashi? Kakake? Kakaki? I'm not sure. What am I talking here? <laughs> Now, Rikyo. Rikyo to Pierozzi. Pierozzi to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, Bresciannini. Passing it to Gassan. Gassan trying to look for Esposito. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he score? He has scored his sixth goal of the season. 3-0. 20 minutes of this game and we are leading this game with three goals, guys. My goodness. I'm telling you guys, you know, seriously, if you guys are having trouble, you know, having problem, you guys are having you know, uh, trouble of winning games, right, in your safe, just go to Gurgen Press. I know it's it, it's very basic, right, but yeah, we have tried our way, we have tried playing with, you know, wing play, you know, with the custom wing play, direct counter-attacking, vertical tiki-taka, nothing was working in CDR. I know it was actually working in CDB and CDC, but this, you know, playing play, playing on, on a Gurgen Press tactical, right, tactic, right, it have actually made the difference for us, and with this, we might be able to, you know, stay safe, stay up in CDR and keep the series running, you know. So, yeah, very, very good first half. Look at the match stat, you know, seven shots on target with an XG of 1.77, possession of 58%, and we are controlling everything. And Poli has been totally outplayed this first half. I really hope, you know, in the second half, we'll be able to do the same. I'm going to tell them, what a 45 minutes that was. You have blown them away. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, you know throw in here for Empoli. Empoli Delgado won back the possession and he lost it immediately to Dembele. Marine, Marine to Baldanzi. They have clawed one goal back. Now the scoreline is gonna be one three. We still have a two goal difference there, but if they, you know, score their second goal in another I don't know ten to fifteen minutes, right? Things could be a little bit tighter, you know, in the in the ending of this game, you know. So. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to defend well. I'm going to shout demand more here. I know we are leading by two goals. But as you guys know, you know, we love to concede a lot of goals. Now, triple deli to Delgado. Delgado passing it to Gassan. Gassan found a cross to Pierre Rossi. Jorgensen. Now to Pierre Rossi. Oh, intercepted by Kakashi. Kakashi now playing it towards Manu Vallejo on the left-hand side. What is he going to be able to do? Can Pierre Rossi... Defend well there. Corbo headed it clear towards Bresciannini now. Esposito. Oh my god. Esposito could not control the ball there. And we missed a chance for a counter-attacking. But we might win a penalty here. That was a totally unnecessary, you know, uh, challenge by Kakashi to Esposito there. But I'm not going to complain if this means that we have a chance of scoring our fourth goal in this game. And restore our, you know, our lead of three goals. And Esposito now has a chance to score his second goal and that was an amazing penalty kick that he could have done, he could have took there. Oh my god. With a lot of flair, he just panenka it and the keeper, <laughs> keeper just went the wrong way. Oh, seriously, such a cool, ta coolly taken penalty, you know. If you look at this, you know, although Gassan have actually not managed to score a goal, but he actually has an average rating of 8.9, which is really, really great, you know, and I'm really happy, you know, that, you know, even, I know Kandeloni actually started the season well, right, but, uh, but after that, after that, he have actually slowed down and just went missing, you know, but Gassan, after that, you know, he have actually taken up on a, on our pressing forward role and he has been playing well, even, even when he's not scoring goal, look at this, you know, 8.9 average rating is actually really, really good for a striker. I'm really happy for him, you know. Okay, so we have conceded the second goal, our second goal against Empoli here. And the goal difference is back to two goals. Seriously, guys, come on. 
we really need to relax a bit you know try not to try not to lose this lead we really need a win here okay so now triple delhi oh he lost the possession now dembele he's trying to launch a counter attack here but there's no one supporting him we have a lot of defenders with him oh he shoot it straight to the keeper fortunately for us we are not going to concede that you know what we are in the 72 minutes let's make a few changes delgado is not playing well i'm going to bring in jacopo the river jacopo the river as you guys knew he was actually out for i think about seven months with an injury he is just back from injury he's not played any games yet and he can only play the you know with a maximum of 45 minutes so i'm going to bring him on you know in the in the hope that we will be able to you know uh build up his fitness and hopefully he can actually perform well here today now cortino is on a 6.6 .6. let's bring him off for lanini all right so i'm just going to confirm the sub and let's play and just just confirm on win here I, i'm going to demand more i don't care yeah both of the strikers they are not happy that i actually demanded more from them but i seriously i don't give a f seriously guys now denise trying to look for a cross in the middle post but they still have a possession here henderson henderson to i'm not sure who he was trying to look for but we managed to clear the ball but they still have the possession here Kakashi! that was a good save by cardinally but we have considered yet another corner here okay so i'm not sure what happened there it is going to be a free kick i'm not sure what what was the start of the highlight there just now henderson oh with a free kick it actually did it hit the crossbar before going off for a goal kick i think it does I, I i think it did not that what was that <laughs> cardinally easy interception there easy collection of the loose ball playing it long but straight to the defenders of empoli and i think the melee was offside that's why he did not touch the ball easy save by cardinally we were lucky that they were offside there you know because they just pierced through our defense easily just now now cardinally passing it towards riccio riccio to jorgensen Jorgensen have actually not played that well in this game but you know he has the potential he has the attribute so let's just give him a little bit of game time he's not fully fit yet as well you know um back in Napoli he did not play any game I think for them you know so yeah that could be the reason why his fitness level was not that great and they were willing you know to 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 give him on a loan I, I think Dennis is offside there yeah they were actually willing to you know let him go on a loan you know with with no wage contribution and which was a really really great deal for us all right so the game is going to end 4-2 for us that was an amazing performance by our attackers and our defenders if you look at this you know although we although we conceded two goals right but yeah look at the average rating even Owen back coming off the bench managed to score a 7.0 average rating and cardinally with a 7.3 average rating as well really really good performance guys all right guys so with that win against empoli we are still in the 14th position but with 29 points and 10 points ahead of brianza in the 18th position which is really really great and we we are only two points we are only four points behind torino that is actually in ninth position i know you know our next opponent is going to be roma it, it is going to be hard but you know with the way we are playing here and you know we actually managed to get a draw against napoli if we can actually put up that same performance that we had against napoli i think we could get a good result against roma which we are playing in another eight more days so i will see you guys in a bit do not go anywhere guys all right guys so this is the team that i'm going to be fielding against roma today is going to be cardinally in goal triple delhi corbo Riccio, and pure is our four defenders our midfield diamond will be nardi as our defensive midfielder Brescia Anini and Jorgensen in the middle and Corti Novis as our attacking midfielder and at the front will be Gassan and Espo Sito all right so Nadi is actually back from an injury and he actually missed quite a lot of games the other day and but you know he's back from injury he's fully fit let's hope that he will be able to put up a good performance against Roma today all right guys so this is not going to be an easy game because look at the quality of the players that roma has in their team you know you know with the likes of tami abraham they have paulo dibala so this is not gonna be an easy easy game but you know we have actually managed to prove it against napoli you know early on you know uh you know we managed to draw against them so hopefully today we will be able to be defensively solid 
And yeah, let's hope that we will get some sort of result against Roma here. Okay, so now it's going to be the first highlight in the 20th minute here. Target to Lang. Target on the left-hand side. Is he going to look for a cross? He's trying to look for a cross to Temi Abraham. And Abraham showing his aerial prowess. You know, he's as you guys know, he's always a very, very good target forward when it comes to football manager. And he has shown just that, you know, easy goal by him. You know, look at this. We had two defenders close to him, but none of them could actually win a header against Tabi Abraham and they have managed to score within, you know, he, he, it was the first highlight in the 20th minute and they have scored their first goal. And now we are going to be playing it short. Look at the players that Roma is actually having, you know, it, it is actually making me nervous. Cardinally, you know, played it long, but they won back the possession. Now, Liwa Kovic to Kumbula. Kumbula to Target. Target playing to Cristante, Lang. Look at the quality of plays that they actually have in their team, guys. Abraham, Tami Abraham to Tormena. I'm not sure who Tormena is, you know. On the right hand side, trying to look for a cross, cleared by a defender, but Amrabat got won back the possession there, you know. And now Tormena on the right hand side. The cross was actually blocked by a defender, but Tami Abraham won back the possession in a very, very good goal. Very, very good position there. And that was a very good goal by Tami Abraham. I'm not sure what we did there. But that was an awful, awful defending there, guys. Let's have a look at the replay. Okay, Tormena just headed it. Tripal Delhi should have done better there, you know. There was no one, you know, marking him. There was no one near him. I think he should have just took his, you know, time. He shouldn't have just headed it clear. You know, he should have took his time, you know, control the ball and then have a look at who he should have played the ball to. You know, now, they still have the possession in a very, very dangerous position here that, you know, target on the left-hand side cleared, you know, blocked by our defenders, but then Cristante was so close to scoring that third goal there. I'm not sure what am I doing here. Seriously, what should we be doing? I'm going to encourage the team. I'm not going to demand more. Obviously, we are not supposed to be, you know, winning this match. But if we, you know, even with a loss here, if we can in keep our 10 points difference, you know, intact to the relegation zone, I think it's going to be a win for us, you know, because that is the only thing we are, you know, we, we care about. You know, and Brianza are actually not playing their game yet. So, hopefully they will lose their game as well. So, hmm, what should I do? I think I should stop playing, you know. Um, you know, we were actually playing with Roma, right? So, I actually put the roles for Triple Delhi and Piorazzi to play as a wingback on defense. But I'm not going to do that anymore. Because I think it is restricting us from going, going, you know, going in front, going attacking. Because... Wingbacks are a part of, they, they actually play a very, very big part of the way we attack in this team, right? So I think, yeah, we should just let them play their usual role of wingback on support. Yep. Okay, so I just encourage, you know, uh, what shout encouragement to the team. And now Pierre Rossi on the right-hand side, passing it back to Rizio because there was no way for him to go, to be honest. There was no one else, you know, that he could actually pass. Now Gassan passing it to Tripal Delhi, Brescia Anini. Passing it to Cortinovic. Can he score? And he has done just that. His third goal of the season. And the scoreline is 2-1. Can we get back into this game? I should have just played our wing back on support duty, man. Just now. I should have just started with that. That was a total, you know. I'm not sure. What if, right? What if, if we would have started them, you know, on a support duty? Maybe, maybe we wouldn't have been in this situation, right? But yeah, the scoreline is 2-1 right now. And it is quite respectable, you know. You know having the scoreline against Roma that are currently, you know, sitting in the second position. Look at these guys. You know, they are, are they, are they on the verge of, yeah, they are, they are in the title run this season. They are one of the biggest competitors, you know, to Inter Milan for the title this season. So, yeah, getting, you know, being in a, being in this scoreline, right, 2-1 against them, I think it's quite respectable. <laughs> Nadi is on a 6.3. He has not been playing well. You know, I'm going to bring in Jacopo Dariva. He can actually play as a deep-lying playmaker. And Gassan is also not having a good game in today's game. So I'm going to bring in Candelone for him. And let's see. Corbo is on a 6.4. I'm I'm bringing in Ivan Mezik. And Pierozzi is on a 6.4 as well. Let's bring in Fiamozi. Fiamozi was also out with injury for so long. And he's fully fit to play 45 minutes. Yeah, I think he should be okay coming off the bench. Four changes done. And let's see if we can get back into this game. I'm going to demand more here. I'm going to stop. You know, uh, oh, they even have Calvin Stang for them. 
All right, now Tormena are trying to look for Lang there. And we have considered a penalty. Oh my god. What are we doing? What are we doing? That, uh, that was a mistake by the defender. I'm not sure who who made that tackle just now. Was it was it Mazik? Oh, such an easy goal by Tami Abraham. And he have actually scored a perfect hat-trick against us here. You know, the first goal was, you know, a header. And then the second goal, it was through his uh, left leg. And now right, right leg goal. 3-1 the scoreline. Come on, guys. I'm going to shout encouragement again. I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I keep on going back forth, you know, against uh, whether it's either demand more or encouragement. But I think the scoreline is going to be 3-1. There's been no highlights since that goal that Tami Abraham scored. And now they are on an attacking as well. Now, Fia Mozi, okay, intercepted the pass. Can we launch a counter-attack here? There's another three more minutes to go. Can we score at least one more goal? You know, just to make it a little bit closer, you know, just to show someone that, oh, it was a close fight, you know. Ambrosianini, he tried from outside the penalty box and it went off for a goal kick. Okay, so I really thought that the you know time was just going to trickle away for a full time there, but there's still another one more highlight. Please don't score their fourth goal. Please, Roma, don't do this to me. But Zella, because we still do need, you know, the goal difference, right? You know, in case, in case in the end of the season, oh my God, Tami Abraham actually scored four goals against us. What the hell, guys? Oh my god. Look at this. Ugh. But that was a good cross by Pazella, you know. Yeah, Tommy Abraham, you know, he's really, really amazing when it comes to his aerial ability. And he have actually showed that, you know, uh, he have been a menace to our defensive line here today. And we have lost 4 1 to them. Look at our XG. Oh my god, we look so small in front of them, guys. Ugh. Now the team hates me. Alright guys, so we are going to end today's episode, you know, with us sit still sitting in the 14th position, you know, 8 points, 8 points clear of the relegation zone, which is a really, really good position to be in. And for the next episode, we will be back for the end of the season. Alright, so because as you guys know, we are not, you know, we are not fighting for a, you know, European spot or anything like that. So let's just, you know, play through everything and tomorrow's, in tomorrow's episode, tomorrow, we will be back for our game against Como and AC Milan. Are we going to still be, you know, you know, eight points, eight points, you know, ahead of the relegation zone? Or are we going to be in the relegation battle again when we come back in the next episode? So if you don't want to miss that, do like the video, subscribe to my channel and follow on on my journey, you know, as the manager of AC Regiana and come back tomorrow to see if we get to stay up in Serie A or are we going to get relegated to Serie B? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.